Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to animate eyes in After Effects. I will show you a special setup I use for my characters and I also will explain how to animate eyelashes, eyebrows in general. So I will explain some character animation in this video. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to create a new uh, composition, but feel free to use your composition settings. And I'm going to create a new uh, background. And also I'm, I'm using a color palette which I, I downloaded from a website. I'm, I'm going to link that website in the description below. So it's very important how I build and set up the eyes for this character. But you can use the same method for your characters as well. So I will lock the base layer and hide the color palette and now we create the base of the eye which I need just a fill like a white fill color for this one and I will use a rectangle rounded rectangle tool for this one and I'm going to put the anchor point into the middle you can use command or control and it's going to snap in the middle of the shape. Now we'll set up the roundiness of the shape. Okay, looking good. And rename the layer so keep everything organized again. I will create the pupil. It's going to be like black circle use just a circle um, tool for this one and again I'm going to reposition the anchor point into the middle and rename your layer So this is the basic setup. So put your pupil under your eye and hit alpha mat for the pupil and copy and paste your white eye, base eye and just put it under it and put the vision back. And now as you can see, if I move around the pupil, it stay inside the eye, which is very cool. And the last step is parent your mask uh, to your white eye, so the base eye. And if, if you can't see that the parent tool, just right click there and make sure the parent is checked. So I'm going to create an eyebrow. I think the eyebrow is important as well because if you watch your face, I mean, if you blink, your eyebrows basically moves a little bit. So we're going to animate the eyebrow because it helps to give a character a bit more life. So I usually animate the eyebrow as well. If especially there is like a close shot of my character, uh, it really helps to give a life for my character. and rename your layer as well okay I'm quickly I'm going to create some mouth just uh, because you know, I like to I like to give this guy a little bit of uh, personality And also I will do some uh, advanced uh, character animation later on this video. And also I'm going to put it in the middle so you can switch on the title save as you can see and you can reposition your 
uh, stuff in the middle. Okay, once you have everything, we're going to rename this to mouth and we're going to copy and paste the eyes and the eyebrow and recolor them to a different color and I'm going to shift it to the right side oops I'm going to shift it with the keyboard with the keyboard um, okay so I just hold it shift and right uh, arrow is going to shift your selected layer to the right side I'm going to animate scale for the for the white a base eye layer so basically this is the base of the blink if your character has a different type of eye that still you can use this scale animation method but make sure the anchor point is in the middle so just uh, hit the stopwatch of the scale go two frames forward and we're going to uncheck that icon there and usually I use 7% for the closed one and uh, go 3 or 4 frames forward and copy the first keyframe and select them and hit F9 which is easy ease the, the keyframes as you can see this is pretty much done a basic uh, blink uh, for the eyes your closing blink is much faster than an opening blink so that's why there is a bigger gap on the opening animation so if you watch your uh, eyes movement and also your whole face movement you can see your uh, eyebrows moves a little bit with your eye blinks so it's it's usually very subtle what really helps to um, give a life for your character and uh, it depends on what expression or uh, it depends on what emotion you use for your character but um, it can be sometimes more extreme emotion it's more ex extreme uh, eyebrows required but for general uh, blink usually use just a general very subtle movement for the eyebrows I'm going to hit F9 which is the easy ease keyframes for animation and now I'm going to make a RAM preview to check the animation as you can see the eyebrows helps a lot to gives a bit more personality for the character so I just create a new null object and I'm going to parent everything to this null object which is going to control my face uh, I mean it's going to control my character's face but uh, as you can see we already parented two layers so you don't need to parent that one so as you can see we can control the whole face with the null object and we're going to animate our character like uh, going to look up to the left side so just a little bit down first and going to go up and always the motions like character animation always goes on a curvy curvy path usually not using a sharp motions for anything um, because in nature everything is going on a fluid path except if you want to animate a robot it's you can animate it very sharp so we're going to animate the pupil so hit the stopwatch for the pupil and we're going to animate the position so it's going to look up and usually the pupil movements if you listen or watch your eyes movement are pretty fast so if you look right or left your eyes moves really fast so your eyes movement can be really fast in animation as well uh, don't do like a slow motion eyes movement it's not really uh, natural So for the second animation, we're going to do like a surprising animation for our character. So he will be surprised about the butterfly or something like that. 
so it will be a different type of blink it will be a more cartoony type of blink and I'm going to modify the blink later on so I will show you that one as well so you can pretty much copy all of the keyframes to the next one and copy the pupil properties as well and I'm going to animate the pupil into the middle so it's going to look on his uh, nose so after that we're going to animate the mouth shape uh, so it's, I'm going to animate like a, a very curious type of uh, shape for the mouth so it will be some uh, O so we have to create like a O shape for the mouth something like this something like that And also the eyebrows is a very important feature you can use uh, on a face animation and character animation because uh, you know in nature you the eyebrows subtle movements can it can say so many things about uh, your your emotions basically feel free to use your eye uh, eyebrow animations um, a lot because it really gives your character lots of personality and life. So after that I'm going to have a look how the, our animation is going. So do a RAM preview and check your animation 2-3 times. And also I'm going to show you like a cartoony blink, which is now there is only a standard blink. But um, so if I go closer and just before the eyes opens I'm going to copy the last um, blink keyframe but I'm going to stretch the eyes a bit bigger so it's going to bounce a little bit so as you can see so it's, it's a bit more surprising blink so I noticed the pupil the right pupil is in the right place so I just push it in a, the same place in the left one the second and the third blink is a bit more surprising and for the eyelashes there is always a 2-3 frames of delay bit following the, the blink animation so when the eyes are closing after a little bit of delay the eyelashes start to follow the eye movement when the eyes start to open eyelashes still is going down but after two frames later it's following the, the eyelids I hope you find this useful, if you did please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, until then see you guys in the next one.